Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a YouTube video off of Kevin's YouTube page and we're going to be adding a scoreboard to it. So Kevin recently played in the most recent Kappa, uh, it was the 2024 Summer Open uh, here in Southern California. And so we're going to take one of his videos and we're going to put a scoreboard on top of it. And so this is going to be the same process if you wanted to put a scoreboard on top of your own videos that are already existing. Um, it does also work with live streaming, um, but a different, a little bit different. Um, so we are taking the game that has already been recorded and we want to add a scoreboard. Um, so we'll add it after the fact. So let's go ahead and check out Kevin's YouTube channel. And so we're going to go to his videos. He had a really good game against some players here. So uh, Kevin and Paul versus Benjamin and Drew from the Kappa 2024 Summer Open. All right, so we're gonna take, so we're gonna take a look at this one, um, and we're gonna basically our goal is we want to be putting a scoreboard on top of here so that we can keep, uh, you know, keep track of the score, and then we can edit it down um, to kind of the highlights. But we'll have that scoreboard there too. So uh, first thing we're gonna need. Um, so we're going to need a program called o OBS. So if you don't have this on your computer already, you'll need to install it. It is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux if you have Linux. Um, so go ahead and install this, and we'll, we'll be using this for the recording. Um, the, the second thing you'll need is an Open Scoreboard account. Um, so if we go to openscoreboard.com and then we click on app in the top right hand corner that'll bring us to the app you will need to log in here um, so that we can start making you know some courts and stuff like that so essentially what we're trying to do is we will be using OBS to record this uh, record over this video and then we're going to be putting the open scoreboard overlay on top of it and we'll be keeping score as we're as we're watching it um, and then we'll have a final kind of edited video so let's go ahead and get this set up in OBS so what we're going to do we're going to come into our OBS because we already have that YouTube uh, tab open we're going to do a screen capture and we'll name this uh, YouTube and we'll hit OK And then we are going to be going for the application. And I'm going to select Google Chrome. All right, so that'll pop up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use this. And then what we'll do is we will zoom in on the video here. Yeah, I think I'll go back and make it in theater mode, so that's a little bit easier. Shrink that down a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so we got roughly what we uh, need our video to look like. And then now we can kind of add the scoreboard to it. So um, first things first, we're going to need a scoreboard. Um, so what we can do is we'll go to we'll go to our app, um, app.openscoreboard.com. And under scoreboards, we'll click on this. And we're going to add an, a new, new scoreboard. Uh, and because he was in the Kappa tournament, I'm going to call this Kappa. And we're going to create it. And so I'll be launching the editor that'll be used for this. Um, and what we have, we can actually download a scoreboard that already exists. So if we go to 
we'll go back to openscoreboard.com and under templates it says pickleball overlay scoreboard template and so we can download this um, so this is what our scoreboard template will look like and we can make some changes later which is what i plan on doing so uh, we can download this come back to our editor hit import and then in our downloads we can open the file and the password was open and then it will load it into our uh, editor here so uh, a few things we they don't really have jersey color well we don't really need to include the jersey colors so we can delete that part um, but what i do want to do is change the colors um, so we should be able to find the colors here so under this row column that we have we have a gradient in here but i'm going to turn it just into a, a plain blue color because that's what kappa has and then i want to add an image on the left hand side here for kappa and so I've already kind of found their logo here. I'm going to take this URL and put it into my editor. And I will have to All right. Okay, so that will be our That'll be our scoreboard. We'll go ahead and hit save on that. Okay, and then we shouldn't need to edit anything else here. So we'll close that. And we'll go back to my scoreboards. And after you created your scoreboard, you're going to be going back to courts. So we're going to create a new court for this as well. And we don't really have a player list here, but it's going to be for the sport of pickleball, and it's going to be normal scoring. And all right, so we'll create that. And then on the right hand side, there's going to be a bunch of URLs that we have. There's going to be one URL for every scoreboard you've created, um, and it'll kind of be fixed with this court or table. So we're going to copy that. And now we're going to go back to our OBS. And now we want to put a browser on top of. So we're going to call this scoreboard. And we're going to paste that URL that we copied in. And maybe I'll increase the width here to 1200 just so it doesn't get cut off. Okay, and that's what it's gonna look like right now because we don't have uh, an active match. So um, all of these values are kind of blank at the moment. Um, but once we start our match, it'll be fine. So we're gonna go back to our YouTube video, make sure that's on there. Okay, so now that we got our scoreboard and we have our uh, YouTube video set up, we can actually start uh, start playing it. Well, let's set up our match. So we're going to go back to our open scoreboard app and we will be in courts. And then this little scoreboard right here, that's where we're going to be keeping score. And so it's going to give us some prompts about, you know, how the match is set up. So it's best of one, it's doubles. And then um, we'll put in the player's names. So we have Kevin, and we have Paul, and then on the other side was Ben, and Drew. And then we will have to figure out who served first. 
So if we go back in our video. Kevin and Paul are serving first. So Kevin and Paul will be serving first at, at 002. Okay, and we are good to start the game. So now if we go back and we take a look at our scoreboard, that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so we are all set up. So now all we have to do is we'll, we'll play the video and as they're playing, um, what we'll do on the scoreboard side of it is we're just gonna basically keep, tracks, keep track of the rallies. Um, and as, so for every rally one, um, it will automatically adjust the service icons and the points. So we're just going to watch through it and keep track of the game. And at the very end, we should have our final result. All right, so let's go. I'm going to start recording. Play. Twenty minutes later. And that's game. All right, so at the end, we'll just hit confirm and then we can start it, start another match. And that'll clear everything. And that is pretty much it. Now that we can go back to our OBS and we can stop recording on that. And then uh, we should have a video file with our scoreboard on top that we can go. And uh, now we can put that into our actual editor and edit it down just for the highlight. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and I'll get back to you.
in that game. <laughs>